Hi, welcome in. My name is Marlene and I am with A Room to Bloom. So, um, about three hours ago or so, I made a video and I had a lot of tears in it because there have been things that have been kind of building up. And as I was speaking about them, you know, it's like the pressure was just being released. And so, it needed to happen. I haven't uploaded it. It takes a little time to do that, but... <clears throat> I thought I would touch base on something kind of as a follow-up to that video so I cried and I don't <laughs> somebody else might disagree with that but I don't cry all the time and when I cry I'm crying because I am deeply moved or touched or affected or whatever that is right it's not I'm not just crying over spilled milk so <clears throat> um, this is how this is. So whatever you are feeling on the inside of you, you will experience on the outside of you. So in my turmoil, I went in, the clouds started becoming very gray. There was a huge downpour, right? And I was needing to go to work, right? The need should, right? Better go, right? The need to go. And, um, in that process, I waited for it to ease up a bit, but I pushed through to go, okay? And in the going, these are the couple of things that I experienced. So I did one order, and I was thinking about, literally thinking about, okay, things are working out. I was thinking about abundance. I turned the corner, and there was a big rainbow, okay? And rainbows represent abundance, okay? Um, the next thing is I went into this one store and I was only in there for a minute. I took a different path than I normally, or I took the same path back, pardon me. And on my way back, there was a penny on the ground. And it's funny, I don't wouldn't normally pick them up or whatever. And there's different thoughts on that. But there's this one gal who does videos and she's always like, if you're looking to be abundant, then abundance comes to you in all different ways right think of this old saying find a penny pick it up and all day long you'll have good luck i literally it it was there like almost moments after i saw the rainbow so i'm like okay i am going to pick it up i'm going to do that now interestingly it wasn't heads up it was the tail but it was a shield and so the shield is about protection the reminder don't worry everything's working out it feels uncomfortable right now. It doesn't feel fun, but this is all for a bigger reason. You are protected, right? The shield. Um, one scent, right? Um, there's a couple of different things like that. So one, thinking God, the divine. One senses and knows our journey, right? Understands my turmoil in... Um, all that I've been experiencing and I understand that what I experience isn't um, we all have different realities right different experiences along our journey but I want to go a little bit further so <clears throat> I've had so many things happen I don't even know in an hour and an hour and a half so then one place that I had to go and I and I have only had to do this one other time was to pick up something for someone and this person wanted a specific product and um, it wasn't there. There were only two of them, not four of them. And the app didn't give you a choice to just say there's only two available. It also didn't give you a choice to substitute. Um, <clears throat> but what was really interesting is, so the universe was telling me not to do the order. And she kept trying. She said, I'm trying, I'm trying. I can't do this. I can't add it. So that is the universe saying, don't do that, right? Don't do that order. So, but I'm like, okay, well, I guess you can restart it. Well, while she restarted it, a new order came up for me for a different location. So I knew that that was my cue to go. So I go to the new location and on my way there, the storm had gotten much more severe in other places. Um, compared to like where I live and when I left my house because 
there were branches and stuff all over in fact this one house I noticed it it literally was covered with branches and trees and it looked like the house was being worked on um, or vacant or whatever but in the driveway was a camper and it said bushwhacker I'm sorry but all I could do was laugh at that point because I'm like yeah you know like I'm telling you when when we are experiencing these tumultuous feelings on the inside we will experiencing experience them on the exterior right oh by the way when I was in that one store where the lady um, uh, couldn't add whatever to her order her things didn't work anyway the power was going out twice okay when you are on the spiritual journey oh by the way when I pulled in that parking lot every single lot in that light or every single light in that lot turned on the second I pulled into my parking spot so it was um, you ha you know spirit works with you and shows you in different ways that you are not alone so yes um, I looked at my watch the time or the clock you know the time was um, not like on the clock right where you might say oh it happens at seven o'clock or eight o'clock right it was an off time because that caught my attention of course how could I miss it because the parking lot got so bright and this is what happens when you are um, what's considered a slider um, you can affect electricity um, bulbs can blow um, lights street lights turn on and off and um, so it's like you're sliding between dimensions or moving different areas um, but anyway so I was in that store after the whole parking lot thing happened after I'm texting back and forth with this gal can't get the order to go through the power basically went out fully and then back on and then it went out fully and then back on and to me, this is like a near-death experience, okay? Where someone's like heart stops for a time. There's been a storm, right? The storm could be within the self, right? And so this is what it's like. You have one foot in one world and one foot in another world. Although they are not separate, it can, it feels separate, right? It's like the, there's this veil. It's, it's there. It's just, is it opening to you or not, right? So like a contraction also is what it made me think about. So in this process on the spiritual journey, we are sort of planning and building a new life. We are, um, that's why it's so important to keep your thoughts positive. Today was a tough day for me. Today was a tough day for me. And um, not the whole day, not the whole day. But it just was like kind of things were um, stacking up. And I was like, you know what? I, um, I started talking about it and then it just started flowing. And I'll post that, that video. Um, I'm wearing this shirt in it, sitting outside, so you'll be able to see me. But um, anyway, so then after the house that I went back, I took a picture of it. <clears throat> what else happened? Then I drive by other areas where, I mean, it, the streets are really like, they've got branches all over, right? So um, it's like frustration, frustration. And that is what frustration looks like. When you're feeling it internally, that's a visual of the frustration and the pain that you are feeling. And that is spirit's way of showing you what you're going through right the storm within is the storm without so um, you know I just I wanted to touch base on that but storms happen for a reason that heavy rain you know what I thank God for my car being washed right I thank God that our streets are washed that the plants are the plants the trees the grass is all watered and grateful for it I don't take it lightly I'm actually in gratitude for that storm right so so it's very fascinating 
Um, I've even had, oh, I had another experience. I was driving by, um, let's see. There was more before this. I just don't remember it. But there was a water tower painted like in red, white, and blue. So it was, it was kind of like, you're free. You're free, right? Your spirit is free, okay? I almost took a picture of it. But I didn't because I was looking at it at the same time I was looking at it, I was looking at a car wash on the right side of me, which has rainbow colors going through this tunnel, right? So the rainbow um, bridge or whatever, right? Um, when someone is moving through that. So I was looking at that. I saw that. I didn't take a picture of either. I was just making a mental note of them. But I go to take a uh, right onto another road, which is central. Avenue. Central is about getting centered within the self. So we don't have the discord. We don't have the storms. We, we feel balanced, right? But on that road was another, now there was another white truck just almost as soon as I pulled onto it. And that had like the flag of freedom and the back window and then red, white, and blue decoration painted on the side of the door. Um, and there's just, you know, so much that's happening so fast in this short time that I've been out that I wanted to get on here and share that. And then interestingly, <laughs> I just realized that I have another message on my, um, what do you call it, mile marker and then the, the temperature outside. The temperature outside is 69, right? Um, that is like yin and yang. That's balancing the male and the female, right? And that is balancing, right? Coming into alignment. Um, my mile, my mile marker means something to me, but I'm not going to share that right now with everyone. So, um, <clears throat> anyway, so many very interesting things. But I want to say thank you. I want to let you know that. If you feel out of touch, if you feel lost, alone, um, it's okay to move through that emotion. It's okay to let it out. Um, and when you do, you can start sensing and connecting with the universe more and more and more and realize you're not alone. You never were. Spirit is with you. Um, And we are here for souls growth. So um, take care and thank you for joining me.